I wouldn't cause no trouble if I was you. It's been a while since I got to smack somebody. Oh, well, you, you know, none too bad, none too good. A lot of walking, a bit of shooting, and mostly just uh, standing around trying to look all intimidating like. Well, they call me Tommy Ten Toes on accounts of my ten toes on the one foot. They used to call me Tommy the Nose. Pretty sure it's because I knows a lot. I knows about business. I knows about guns. I knows it all. Uh, but uh, after getting all ghouly, they stopped calling me the Nose. And maybe they don't think I knows it like I used to. But I got these toes, though, you know, more than I can count. Welcome. Wait, uh, 15. 15 toes. So now, now you see, Tommy still knows. Oh, yeah, you want to see him? Oh, sorry. Minerva said I can't be taking my shoes Minerva off in front of customers no my more. Especially Minerva. after what happened in Chattanooga. That poor little Every doggy. And mechanism recreated precisely to a fraction of a hundred. Hey, anytime, pal. Yeah, to be clear, Tommy don't work for Minerva. Tommy works for the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. But seeing as I only ever get paired with Minerva, I guess it don't make much difference. Anyway, she's all right. Hey, you know that she draws them pictures of guns and stuff herself, right? And people are actually buying them? Maybe I should sell some drawings, too. I draw animals real good. Like them kangaroos, so, and uh, the rhinoceroses. You know? I love rhinoceroses. <laughs> you ever been to the zoo? I miss zoos. So you look like the zoo type. <laughs> Got it right again, Tommy. Another time then. Okay. Behold, picture perfect copies of plans and recipes. Hand drawn from my photographic memory. You never know these weren't the real thing. Always happy to chat with a customer. What do you need? <laughs> You'd think with all the carnival barking I do, I wouldn't get this question much. But alas, here I go, answering it again. My caravan sells recreations of all sorts of rare plans and recipes. At discounted prices, no less. I've got what you'd call a photographic memory. If I've seen it, I can picture it. And draw it exactly so. The human copying machine, they say. But I suspect that name will lose its veneer once anyone that remembers copying machines has died off. If you're interested in plans at unbeatable prices, I'm the best that the Blue Ridge Caravan Company has. And what else could I be spending my talent on, pray tell? Turning a profit is all I know, and all I ever want to know. Sure am. Been with them since I was a pint-sized brainy brat. 
I'm originally from DC. Survived the bombs thanks to my local library, seconding as a bomb shelter. Wound up wandering from group to group until my talents caught the eye of some Blue Ridge folks passing through. I ended up being an apprentice for a book salesman and rewriting books by hand. He was a dear friend and a great mentor. After he passed, I took over his caravan, switched from books to something a little more catered to the modern survivor's needs though. But Blue Ridge are my business partners and my family. I couldn't ask for a better one. Sure am. Been with them since I was a pint-sized brainy brat. I'm originally from DC. Survived the bombs thanks to my local library, seconding as a bomb shelter. Wound up wandering from group to group until my talents caught the eye of some Blue Ridge folks passing through. I ended up being an apprentice for a book salesman and rewriting books by hand. He was a dear friend and a great mentor. After he passed, I took over his caravan Switched from books to something a little more catered to the modern survivor's needs, though. But Blue Ridge are my business partners and my family. I couldn't ask for a better one. Sure thing. Not long. So if you've got your eye on something, act fast. My stock is constantly rotating with new and exciting observations from my travels. But that also means you're unlikely to see the same thing on back-to-back -back visits, so grab what you can while I'm here. My mind may be unending, but I can only draw so much before my wrist snaps in two. Not many treatments for carpal tunnel syndrome in the wasteland, you know? What else did you want to know? Tommy? Well, it wouldn't be a caravan without someone riding shotgun. He may seem intimidating, but he's a big, goofy teddy bear. Loves to chat, so say hi. Try and steal something, though, and he will rip your sternum out. I've seen him do it. Very graphic. Mm-hmm. But don't forget, I won't be around here forever. Make sure you grab the goods you want before they're gone. Always happy to chat with a customer. What do you need? Mm-hmm. But don't forget, I won't be around here forever. Make sure you grab the goods you want before they're gone.
photographic memory allows me to share plans from far and wide that crisis can't be beat. Keep up. Jen's got style that I can respect. Mm -hmm. I believe I lost my Nuka Tapper saves. Sorry, no time to chat. Satisfaction with Sunny is guaranteed. Satisfaction with Sunny is guaranteed. Build a lair out of garbage. Garbage. 
from Sunny. Worry about the bots. They're working for me. Don't tell me. This time it was Charleston. Or the White Spring, even. Gosh, just give me a minute. I'm still not done compiling the last report. You mean you haven't heard? The super mutants didn't just hit Fort Atlas. I'm getting reports from all over. Even Foundation. Hold on. If you haven't heard, the Knight and Paladin might not have either. Uh, I've been so busy receiving the reports that I... Uh, anyway, you gotta let them know about this right away. Eh, uh, I don't have many details. Appalachia's always had super mutants, and now there's just, uh, more of them. Ever since the attack on Fort Atlas... Now we've got people coming from all over to ask the Brotherhood for help. We've got to do something about this. Oh, that shouldn't be necessary. It sounds like Foundation has things under control. And they're helping out anyone they can. They just came to share information with us. Starting that trade deal with them has worked wonders. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Foundation has been tracking nearby attacks. They think the mutants might be coming from those caverns. Uh, what are they called again? Wacky caverns? Unlikely caverns? Uh, uh, oh! Uncanny caverns. That's right. Anyway, thanks for helping out. I've got my hands full here. I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but I wanted something more than just settling. Not sure if I should be thrilled or terrified. Are you buying this keep the peace idea these Brotherhood types are putting down? Those super mutants are gonna think twice about messing with us again. Right?
all standard models. Surely there's something more to discover here. Anything you need to know? I can't wait to take a closer look at this. Thanks again. Thanks for your help, Initiate. Things have gotten dicey, but we're a brotherhood. We'll get through it. What can I do for you? Or did you come to lend a hand? Um, sure. I'll discuss what I can. I'm conflicted. I was raised in the Brotherhood. The Elders gave me my education, my occupation, my life. But Paladin Romani gave me freedom. I always wanted to see the world. I jumped at the chance to join her expedition, and she fought to bring me along. Being out here, on our own, without contact with home, it's terrifying. But it's also thrilling. I wanted an adventure, and I'm getting that. I wanted to see Appalachia, and here I am stay here forever? I don't know about that. They're unsettling. They can use human weapons, mount an organized offensive, and they targeted us for an attack. I get the feeling we haven't seen the last of them. It's not the first time they've butted heads, but this does feel different. All of their past frustrations feed into this conflict. The mutant attack does give us a common cause again. I hate to say it, but it might just buy us the time we need to come together. If it doesn't drive us apart even more. Those weapons you've been chasing? We found them in a government facility on our way to Appalachia. We were supposed to keep them to ourselves. That's how we operate. But then we ran across a settlement being threatened by raiders. We couldn't just leave them to die. We equipped them with the weapons we found, but it didn't help. It was a massacre. The whole place was wiped out. Everyone was killed, including Night Connors. One of our own. The only survivors were two children we brought back with us. Marsha and Max. Night Shin believes it's our duty to report this incident to Elder Maxon. Paladin Romani feels we'd be punished just for trying to help. I'd be more comfortable with that. Sure. Always happy to talk tech with an initiate. It's a shame. But luckily I still have the blueprints and the original. <laughs> I can make more. And we can always go back and retrieve the one from the transmitter if we still need to. No, I don't think so. As much as I'd love to, we're too short-handed, and I just don't have that kind of expertise. We'll have to make do with learning what we can from the project for now. Sure thing. What's the next topic? Lucky for you, I know all about us. We're an order dedicated to the preservation of science and technology. We find and catalog knowledge from before the bombs and keep it safe.
That's one interpretation, certainly one I've heard before. But my journey here has only reinforced my faith in our mission. We're dedicated and organized. I trust us to do the right thing with the knowledge we gather. California, all the way across the continent. I've read that people used to fly that distance in a few hours, but the trek took us months. Maybe eventually we'll get flying again, but for now it's an arduous journey. We're here to help the people of Appalachia, and to catalog any technological discoveries we find. We set up Fort Atlas to that end. This old observatory has a wealth of technology to discover, and is a good staging point for future operations. We also want to learn the fate of the old Appalachian chapter of our order. MIA, We're all links in presumed the chain. KIA. In brotherhood. Yeah, to be honest, that's what I expected to hear. At least they died trying to make a difference. May they rest in peace. I knew some of them from a distance, but uh, it's better if we don't get into that now. The Council of Elders, chief among them. High Elder Maxon, our founder. He proclaimed our mission and set us on the path we follow today. Our expedition leader is Paladin Romani. She's an aggressive and daring commander who's taken us through many trials. Okay, what do you want to know? Sure, what needs explaining? We're the heart of the Brotherhood's mission to find, catalog, and preserve pre-war technology. Though sometimes in practice, well, let's just say I spend a lot of time calibrating things. We record things. Histories, schematics, every bit of knowledge we can get our hands on. We collect it all, compile it, and keep it safe, like old scholars or monks. Our name harkens back to that ancient tradition, so that's why we use it. We're receiving reports of people going missing all over Appalachia. Someday. You have what it takes. I've seen that much. I'd have you promoted here and now if I could. But the Brotherhood is slow to trust outsiders. You'll have to keep working for it. Be patient, put in your time, and know that I have your back. Sure, what do you want to talk about? About me. <laughs> what do you want to know? I thought Atlas was impenetrable. California, though, we'll truth be told, I've spent most of my life in one bunker or another. <laughs> My parents joined the Brotherhood when I was very young, so I grew up in the Order. Take the old and forge it anew. The elders have so much to teach us. Really? How rare. You'll have to let me interview you sometime. I'd love to know more about the vaults. I have a lot to take care of while we get settled in here, but I'll get back to you on this. Don't worry. I do. Scribes are critical to the Brotherhood's mission. It's a mission I believe in. The work that comes my way can get tedious or overwhelming, but knowing I'm helping the greater good keeps me satisfied. Most days. Be vigilant for any more super Appalachia. <laughs> it's beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. It reminds me of the stories my parents told me of before the war. Hiking in the mountains, playing in the rivers. I think, despite everything, you're lucky, Wastelander. I don't say that lightly. Yeah, it can be. We're a splintered organization with noble goals, but competing methods. We're a bickering family, but a family nonetheless. 
That's why I know we'll come together in the end. Of course. What's the next topic? Mm, yes. He's quite the interesting guy. He really familiarized himself with the proprietary tech that the West Virginia chapter developed. He's been an excellent source for archiving their research. I'm glad we could give him a safe place to stay after all that he's been through. I'll be here if you need anything. Don't worry about Night Shin. You know how he is by now. I'm sure he'll come around. At least I hope he will. More than just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put up for trial? Everything makes sense now. This is what I'm Sending out our forces, we have to act now. With what resources, Romani? We already lost too many to the super mutants. Send any more out, and Fort Atlas is unprotected. It's a risk we have to take for the people of Appalachia. You're like a broken record, but the facts still haven't changed. Do you have something to report, Initiate? I believe Shin was talking to you, Initiate. Romani and I were just discussing the patrol schedule. This is far more important than a patrol. We're talking about people's lives. What do you need, Initiate? You see, we've wasted time sitting on our thumbs already. I didn't think this would happen so soon. If at all. Fine. We can't let the mutants run rampant. But I will lead a squad personally to track down where they're coming from. And where do you plan to look? Spending time on a meaningless chase will leave countless homesteads unprotected against the mutants. And that's where we're headed. You're splitting our forces, Shin. Isn't that exactly what you wanted to avoid? So long as the rest of the Initiates stay here, Fort Atlas will be well defended. It takes two to create a conflict, Romani. You're gonna have to make some compromises from now on. We don't have any more time to waste. Initiate, I need you to brief Initiates Norland and Hewson to come along on this mission. You're coming too. It will be a good opportunity to show Romani's favorite how things should be done. This should be a given, but come prepare to fight mutants. We don't know how many there will be, or if the type that we've seen are the only form they come in. We may need to retreat and regroup if things get bad. Find, protect, and preserve. I'm not. But if this foolish mission is what it takes to prevent full-on mutiny, so be it. While you're out, I'll meet up with Initiate Dorsey to find out who around Appalachia is in need of help. Maybe there are some resources we can spare without inspiring Shin to start a riot. I'll be checking the spreadsheets when I get back. They should be here in Fort Atlas. Keep the introduction short. We need to get to the caverns as soon as possible. Ad Victorium, Initiate. Well, or we're gonna make the same mistakes be careful dealing with those mutants, and be sure to offer help to anyone in need. 
All initiates get one authorized weapon. No more, no less. Need to have Valdez take another look at my armor. 2,000 miles of hiking, so it's a real wear. See if anyone needs help with anything. Hope those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. At Victorium Initiate, what can I do for you? Sure, I can introduce myself. I come from Ohio. My parents worked in the government before the war. When I learned about the Brotherhood and what they're doing to preserve the world, I left home to do my part make up for my parents' contribution to causing this disaster, however small it was. It's a big responsibility, so I don't have time for much else. I need to be vigilant about my training if I'm going to become a knight. I'm not trying to be formal, just following basic etiquette. We are all representatives of the Brotherhood of Steel. We should conduct ourselves as such. It's not my place to give an opinion on the other recruits. I trust the judgment of Paladin Romani and Knight Shin. That being said, I hope Initiate Hewson is getting the support she needs to succeed here. She's not militarily inclined. I want to visit you can count on me. I'll report there immediately. solved a lot of problems back in the day. But look what else it wrong. I'm glad we guard our tech closely. Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance.
But what if she abandoned me? I don't think your sister would do that to you. I mean, I don't have any proof, but uh, anyway, Max, she probably just got lost on a walk or something. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll be around if you need anything, okay, Max? Okay. I'll have some initiative. Can you put in a good word for me with Paladin Romani? Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Isn't that cool? Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders and our mother was killed. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Two Paladin Romani had us come along the with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. They're heroes! The Brotherhood is gonna save humanity and help make the world a better place. They saved my sister and me and a bunch of other people along the way. Plus, the power armor they get to wear is so cool! Oh yeah! It's a lot of fun living in the Brotherhood of Steel base. I kind of wish there were more kids my age to play with, but it's okay. The less distractions from my training, the better. I'm gonna become the best Brotherhood of Steel member that Paladin Romani has ever seen. Whatever you want. It's fun talking with you. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm gonna try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them, and I'm so happy that she did. No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, oh, right. I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Oh, absolutely! She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real-life hero. You're doing great. Okay. Knight Shin is super cool. Have you seen his power armor? He doesn't really talk to me much, but I, I think it's just because he's super busy doing Brotherhood stuff and fighting bad guys. Plus, he's usually hanging out by the weapons, and I'm not allowed to go near there. I think we're gonna be best friends one day, though. You think? I wanna know all about the Brotherhood of Steel. Each day in service of the what? No, he's just busy. Saving the world is hard work. Someone in the Brotherhood can't be a jerk. They're literally the good guys. Okay. Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm gonna study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide and seek around the fort. Nah, I wanna be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. If I was to be a scribe though, I would want to be just like Odessa. She told me I could because we're friends. Just like how you can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although, when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. I thought I had seen what the Wasteland has to offer. It's super Okay. Nice. This is a whole new country. Sounds good to me. Stay safe out there.
Marsha's up there. Brotherhood, Dr. Hardy, and everyone. Okay, you got this. Don't mind me. Sneak up on people like that. Still not finished. There's just not enough hours in the day. My my arms? You mean like a gun? A, a real one? Oh my god. I'm not ready for this. There's no way I'm ready for this. Can I stay in the infirmary? Please, let me stay in the infirmary. Right. No need to be nervous. I'm just being called in for my first ever field mission, and it's led by Night Shin, and I don't know what I'm doing, and I won't know what I'm doing in front of him. So, not only am I probably going to die, but I'll look stupid doing it, and I should stop. Yeah. No need to be nervous. Nope. No reason at all. Night Shin's favorite? He's always in the barracks, doing extra push-ups and stuff. Not that I'm watching. I just... well... I'm kind of scared of him. I mean... he's kind of everything that I'm not. Me? Oh, good question. I mean, I was, um, what? helping what? Dr. Hardy when Dr. Hardy got recruited. And I... I guess he recommended me. I'm good at medical things. Really. Well, I think I am. I mean... We saved a lot of people back then, and... Just forget I said any of that. I don't know. Really, I'm... I'm just trying my best. Another initiate, and a great doctor. He taught me almost everything I know. I think he's been looking for a place to stay recently, to get some time away from the fort. Two sets uh, of plans. I mean, and the initiates not that he doesn't like it here or anything. Uh, everyone needs some alone time, right? I... I should just stop talking. Oh... God, so you heard that? Uh, I'm so bad at talking with children. I must have made it worse. You know Marsha? She's not an initiate, but she and Max stay with the Brotherhood. They're siblings. Apparently Marsha's been gone for a few days, and I told Max everything would be fine, but I really don't know. This can't be real. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna puke. No, no, wait. I, I have to get my gun. I've never used it, like, outside of a firing range. First time for everything, right? Okay, um, I'll be there. Ad Victorium. I hope Marsha's doing okay.
raiders causing trouble again. Nothing to see here. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. If you're looking to make a difference, you've come to the right. Always good to see a friendly face. Welcome back. Maybe? Sorry, I'm usually better with the protocol, but it just seems weird to use titles, initiate to initiate. I've been keeping watch out here for a long time. People coming and going, since before the Brotherhood arrived. It helps to stay friendly with people. Made it easier. Torn, if I'm honest. Paladin Ramon is exactly the kind of leader I want right now. She's the Brotherhood I imagined. But Night Shin is right, too. Breaking away from the Elders like that? It's mutiny. I know how my dad would have felt about that. Night Shin can't command the same loyalty the Paladin does, though. He's not exactly a people person. Can we call ourselves the Brotherhood now? Will it fall apart if Night Shin takes over? It all makes me nervous. Well, you probably already know about the super mutant attack. I heard you helped fend that off. Mighty impressive. You should be proud. It's frightening to think something like that could happen here. But we're still standing, and they're not. Don't be a stranger. Any news to share? <laughs> 